Cortez was a military genius. <laughs> was Hernan Cortez the greatest military genius that Europe and the old world had seen since Alexander the Great or Julius Caesar. That's how history wants to portray him. Insisting book after book, a documentary after documentary, that this guy was just the biggest, baddest brain on the battlefield. Because nobody has ever done that in the history of military conquest. Not even Alexander the Great or Julius Caesar or any of those guys. Suddenly walking to the position of commander, captain, and to lead a few warriors into battle against one of the biggest, baddest empires in the Americas. His bio shows that he was a constantly sick boy. He was characterized as, as being weak. So there's no record of him wielding swords or arquebuses or cannon. It's questionable if he even ever rode a, a horse. By some descriptions, he's, he's described as, as being somebody who, who had problems with his back. You know, his spinal cord was messed up, but he walked kind of funny. But imagine somebody like that trying to ride a horse. Couldn't do it. The most glaringly obvious contradiction in the idea that, that or the myth that Cortes was uh, a military genius is that there is no record of him ever having commanded men into battle or much less winning any combat between armies. Uh, and there's no evidence that he ever conquered or led successful campaigns anywhere in the Americas after or in, anywhere in the world after the conquest, before or after the conquest. It just so happened that in these two magical years for Cortes, he just flourished. He just became this god of war and conquered millions with just a handful of Spaniards. And oh yeah, he had a, he had a couple of Indian porters and and a couple of warriors, a couple of Tlaxcalteca, but no, he did it all by himself. Pretty much, pretty much. No, didn't happen. The simple explanation is that the Tlaxcalteca Axis powers, as I call them, because there were several nations, Indian or Native American nations that were banding together against the Aztecs. Um, these guys were leading a massive revolution in the americas in, in in mesoamerica against the aztec and they were making a lot of leeway um, they were making a lot of progress in their war against the aztec and the spanish simply functioned as an added piece to a larger uh insurrection that toppled the mexica eventually they were a cosmetic addition to the revolution that was happening. And it was the people's will going against the empire. So the Spanish were used as a token of psychological warfare that didn't really work because, again, yes, they had the arquebus, which is what we would consider a rifle today, but it wasn't anything like a rifle at all. I mean, this thing was so massive and cumbersome that you had to stand it on a, you know, hold it on a stand. It has it, it had its own tripod or its own stick to stand on. Uh, besides you holding it and, and shooting. And it took a while to load. Uh, and if you're, for some reason, somehow your powder got wet at all. Guess what? You had a totally non-functional, 
I guess I dare say gun, but it was more of a a fireworks display um, fireworks display object. So cannon, same thing. I mean, if, I'm sure that it worked eventually. They worked and they did some contribution, but they didn't win the war. The people won the war. The Tlaxcalteca won the war. The Otomi won the war. The Nahuas that were against the Mexica, they, they won the war. Now, how then did the Spanish Cortez and the Spanish end up in power then? If it wasn't they who conquered the, the Aztec. Well, because Spanish diseases were nasty. Okay? These things eradicated whole populations, towns, cities. Boom. Gone. Gone. That right there, my friends, was the number one cause of the defeat of the Mexican or the Mexica Empire. It brought them down because it weakened them so much that it allowed space for the enemies of the empire to attack and actually make progress. Um, get some get some wins under the belt, which built up their morale. And the more they won, the more battles they won, the more they recruited. To the point that they recruited the Spanish as well. They didn't offer to be the Spaniards' porters and their servants and at the disposal of the genius captain. They had their real genius captains in the Tlaxcalteca armies. The Tlaxcalteca armies were the real geniuses behind the victory against the Mexica. So yes, the nasty diseases were the first thing that started killing off Aztecs even before the Spaniards arrived in Mexico. Even before this was already happening, it was already infecting. The Aztecs were all over the place, first of all. The Aztecs were all over. There's evidence that points to the fact that the Aztecs were as far out into the islands, as far out as Puerto Rico. When uh, Columbus arrived in 1492, as soon as he arrived, the uh, diseases started spreading. It only intensified later on, of course, with more and more contact. So that when they eventually defeated the Aztec, the Tlaxcalteca were the ones who took power. But it just so happens that they weren't immune to these diseases. And then they started dying off in droves. Uh, eventually the Spaniards took over. That wasn't the initial setup. It wasn't the initial idea. As, as In terms of the Native American groups, that wasn't their plan. So yeah, was Cortez a genius? He never even, I don't even think he ever saw a battle up front didn't happen otherwise don't you think otherwise he would have been commissioned to go fight wars everywhere around the world and put his tremendous genius to work go fight the Indi the, the English hey the English are being little pieces of shit right go fight them use your genius your tremendous incredible unbelievable, illogical, sudden genius in on the battlefield. Just go and conquer these English, you know, settle that question. But no, didn't happen because obviously nobody bought into that idea. The Spanish crown didn't buy into the idea. See, this, the, this is the thing. Cortes was good at paperwork, at making stories writing it down making it seem a certain way certain making things look a certain way that's the right the skills of a writer skill of a notary notary giving legitimacy to a 
an idea, a, a transaction. That's what Cortez, his genius was. Not as a conqueror, he never conquered anything. Apparently, he he didn't uh, he didn't really die a rich man or uh, with the accolades that he thought he might deserve. And of course, that's because he didn't deserve them. Basic, simple, done, myth, broken, swept aside. Thank you very much. Subscribe.